What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Bareness as a TCG, and today we're going to be talking about my first time playing in a Digimon tournament. Actually, it was my first time playing Digimon outside of my house, so it was quite the experience. We're also going to be opening some of the dash packs that I was given, along with a couple of booster packs. Uh, it came with the entry and placing third place. Um, it was actually given to me, though. You know, I didn't earn third place. Uh, but before we get into that, I'd like to thank my 143 subscribers. Now that is a live feed in the upper corner right here. So I'm trying to get to 1,000 by the end of the year. I may have to lower my expectations and aim for 500. But if you enjoy the content, be sure to uh, leave me a message and hit that subscribe button. So let's talk about what got me there, what got me out. So I did join the um the local uh card shop that i have night and day their their discord and some people were like all right we're gonna you know we're gonna play digimon tuesday does anyone want to come now i've opened some digimon cards before and i had a couple starters i played a couple games but i was like i'm not doing anything i'm gonna go so i show up uh, at the time, there was about five or six people, so it wasn't a big tournament. It wasn't like I went to regionals or anything like that. Just local card shop. And I rolled up with my starter decks. So I have these two right here. So I got a Ty and an Izzy. So these are old starter decks. I bought them because um, I made the mistake of buying one of the new starter decks, and the cards were just... They were too complicated, and I was just trying to learn the game. I wanted less text, so... I ended up taking that there, not knowing what to expect. Um, ideally, when I join a tournament of a game I'm not really familiar with, I'd rather do just a draft, but Digimon doesn't really follow a good draft format. Um, so there I was up against decks, and I started playing, and I was getting slaughtered. So <laughs> I found out that these cards, you know, that power creep just went way up in the most recent set. So we're going to switch to the camera view, or the card view, real quick. Um, so I'd had to set 2D side between the tie. Let's see, where are they at? Sorry that, too zoomed in. So the tie deck or the Izzy deck. And for some reason, I was just feeling plants and green. So I went with Izzy. Now, I actually, there was a couple other new players there, so uh, I could tell that he he had a more complicated deck because he, he borrowed it from uh, one of his friends. So he was still learning the basics, wasn't pulling the combos out right. So I ended up um, having a victory over him just because of that. It wasn't me. It was really his more complicated deck. Uh, but these three cards were put in work for me. Izzy, Needle Spray, and Electro Shocker. They were the MVPs where I would suspend and then gain a memory and then uh, put it back into their hand. Everything else was a little too too old. It was a very slow deck. Everyone, you know, Wargramon, like Garurumon, all these people were just, um, all right, and we swing and you're dead. So, well, it wasn't... It was. I don't want to say it wasn't a fun experience because it definitely was a fun experience, and they made it fun. Some people were telling me, oh, you know, as I was playing, what I should have done. Let me rewind some of my uh, some of my moves, things like that. And then uh, other people just, you know, you, I said I placed third, but it was because they just gave me the win. You know, the people, we were all playing for fun. They were playing for fun, um, and and overall, it was a pretty good experience. Uh, I do think if you're starting out on Digimon, uh, I don't know if anyone watching this is brand new or interested, I would say pick up some of these decks, some of these older ones. This was $10, so was the tie, and when I was at home playing with people, we found it a lot easier to get a grasp of the game when the abilities were a lot simpler or, you know, just looking through this real quick, just flipping through, there's not a lot of text there's a little little something going on there, but it's not complicated. You know, n there aren't so many inheritables because I'm that was throwing me off um, when 
when I did borrow someone's deck and there was five or six inheritables, X antibodies, all these things, and I was just losing track. Um, so this is a nice way to start off learning the game. So it was five dollars to enter, which got me a couple packs, and I got a pack for placing third place. Um, they also gave out some of these dash packs for uh, one for joining and one for every win that you get. So I'm gonna open these right now. Everyone's asking me what I got. They're like, "Oh my god, what'd you get? What was in it? Let me know." And I was like, "I'll open them later." You know, I didn't tell them that I have a YouTube channel that I'm trying to start up and that's the reason why you know I didn't want to join or draw attention kind of away from um, from me learning or give them the idea that I'm only playing just because of the YouTube channel so an Agumon so another thing that I'm struggling with with just Digimon in general is what to play so usually I have a control play style uh, when I was playing Magic, but I, I don't know if I could do that in every single game. I play a lot of games, and if they're all the same, I'm going to get very bored of control. So this was something I was looking at actually trying to see if I can make a deck around. I'm not I'm not the level to be making any complex decks yet, but I did like uh, green, and as far as the... Um, the trees and the plants, just vegetation in general. Um, I was looking at picking up some of these, so that's really great that I drew one of those. And at the same time, Digimon is just so inexpensive. You know, when I was there, people were just giving cards away, They, you know, to me. And it was great, because they're like, oh, I have a million of these, just go ahead and have it. Or they'd sell me a deck, they'd be like, oh, I'll sell this all to you, you can start a collection here, you know, 10 bucks. Um, everyone was really great as far as the Digimon community that I've met so far. I mentioned I wanted, I was interested in Mastamon and, you know, out of nowhere, some guys like, I got a Mastamon deck show up next week and you can run it through the turn, run it in the tournament. So I'm like, great. So it, it's really great. I'm liking the community a lot so far. Godflame, Basurmon, Growlmon, and... We have a Mega Dramon and a Slayer Dramon. Those are pretty nice too. What are they, rares? Yep, two rares. Perfect. Got two more packs here. But there's also something that I don't like about Digimon too, and it's it's a lot to keep track of when you build your Digimon up with all the um, uh, inherited uh, traits and everything. And I don't know if I have to go that route. I don't know if that's optional and it's just that's just the meta where people are swinging for one-turn wins. I mean, that could be what's happening. It's just the current meta and things will change. Um, I... I never like that. Even like in Magic, the turn one wins never appealed to me. Um, I like my games to last a little longer. Uh, Snow Agumon. And that, I mean, that can't really happen. The only reason these games were lasting a while uh, was because I had to stop to read every card. Every time they played something, I'd be like, uh, what does that do? <laughs> And then I had to look at mine, and I even had to ask. I was like, I think, like, I think this is the play I should be doing. Um, and then I would ask, is it the play I should be doing? And so far, no one was really competitive. No one was, like, refusing. No one was refusing to help me, basically. Um, it wasn't about winning. It was just about having fun, testing new things. You could tell that the people that were more advanced had better decks you know planning to go to regionals and things you could tell that they were getting serious over there um between each other but they didn't they didn't put that on me they really didn't uh m you know make my life hell and just be like all right you're dead um although there was one i think one one person was getting frustrated because i did borrow a deck and i played him 
and it was it was part of the tournament because I went there twice. I'm talking about the first tournament I went to, but the second time, the second week I went there, um, I played with the uh, uh, War Greymon, and you could tell I was a little frustrated uh, because I swung and killed him in like one hit, and the next game I was so close, but then he pulled out some shenanigans of some sort and then killed me in one turn. So we got uh, Wizardmon. I was also looking at seeing if I could make a deck kind of around him too. I know he's not the high level seven; he's just level four. But there's just something about things that look Halloweeny to me. Now it changed when I was a kid. I liked more horror, blood, guts, gore, and now I'm into the more traditional Halloween-looking things, more on the kid level. And I don't know why. Um, Maybe it's because I'm just tired of death and gore and, you know, life's life, life can be rough in general. And just having that youthfulness to um, like to Halloween and holidays is just something I'm looking forward to now. So if I can make a Halloween theme deck, that'd be great. Problem is, I don't think I'll be winning very often. That is a pretty sexy looking Gabumon, though. That is a nice card. And I don't know how much these are worth. I have zero idea. Luckily, actually, I don't know if it's luckily or or what, but the uh, the store I go to, they have a lot of old um, old tournament stuff that they never they never hosted the games. Uh, it was actually I don't know if it was going out of business, but someone else bought them. Uh, and they're making it better. They're making it a better place for people to play. Got a Blitz Greymon here. I'm sure someone's going to want that. That is a nice looking card for anyone playing Greymon. And then, but yeah, so uh, it seemed like the person that owned it before had all these tournament packs. And I don't really know. Someone, uh, if someone can answer uh, this for me, how does a store get these dash packs and these tournament packs, are they free? Does um, does the Digimon company, um, as far as uh, Bandai, do they just send these packs over to stores as and the stores promise to ho- host events? Because if that's the case, then they didn't run any events. They got all this free stuff, never used it. But when the new owners came, uh, they started using it. So they started grabbing all these old packs and uh, they're really nice about it because they're like, I hope these are great. You know, they don't really know what they are either. Um, especially this. So there was one of the players there mentioned um, that that I should get this one. So in the store, she gave me an option. She was like, well, what, pick one. Which one do you want out of these packs? And he guided me to this one. Um, and he said that, you know, these were these aren't very common anymore. They're rare to come by. And I think on TCG Player, these were like $7. And it's interesting because you get two cards. But why are they $7? I don't know if I got the good ones, but got a Gatomon and a Demi Devimon. So really nice cards. I'm going to try to hold on to this one, see if I can make a deck. Maybe buy a couple more just because I really like that artwork or spread the artwork around. Um, other things I got, just looking through this again, we got a... Mega Dramon. And then I probably should have taken all these out while I did that. Uh, Mega Seedramon. This is also a rare, rare Trial of the Four Great Dragons. Uh, another Mega Dramon. So I got two of those. Slayer Dramon. This one. Wait, hold on. Just. This one looks like it's going to be an alt alt rare. It's got a lot of texturing on it. So this one might be worth uh, a little bit of money there. Really nice. And the Entmon. If I do end up trying to go with the vegetation, this will... I'll see if I can squeeze this in there somehow. Uh, looking at the actual ability, I'm not, I haven't played with uh, Digisorption yet. Uh, but I do like the the suspend mechanic when digivolving. If you have two or more suspended Digimon in play, unsuspend this Digimon. And I know there was a Hydramon that I wanted to see if I can fit somewhere also because the alt art looks really cool. 
So Hyper Infinity Cannon. Looking for the other rares. Tank Dramon, which looks like a um, Armadillo tank. And I believe that is it for my polls. Not bad because when I'm at the store and I'm paying $5 entry fee, uh, I'm just looking to support the the um, the store anyways. Um, they offer store credit or packs. I think the better option is just to take the packs, uh, just because um, you know they're they're giving they're they're doing these tournaments with the Dr Draconic Roar because they have so many of them, and it'd be nice to support that. You know they have deals on cases, and if we keep coming every uh, every Tuesday, then they'll be able to get rid of their inventory making way for some new stuff for us, have new deals, maybe give us more packs since they're older. You know, it's one of those things we support them, they support us, and instead of just go paying $5, winning, let's say, 20 or $30 in store credit, and then going around and turning and buying, I don't know, like a board game or something, or buying... Just buying something else. I don't know. For it, I'm sh all the money goes to the store, but still, it seems like the better way to do it is just to take the packs. But that's just me. I might feel different when um, they're still giving Draconic Roar packs out after like five months that I'm going. Eventually, I'm gonna have all the cards I need from this set and won't even, you know. Then I'll just start being like, oh man, I don't, I don't want these anymore. But then I have the opportunity to start giving away to new players. Hopefully, new play players show up like I did, and I'm gonna continue to do it. It was fun community is really nice i have to jump into some other communities so uh next one i'm going to try is flesh and blood i have a couple blitz decks of that i'm going to just enter a tournament uh, they have a draft tournament coming up new set might just go to that and do a tournament while they teach me how to play hopefully they're as nice as the digimon people because um i'm gonna ask every question along the way uh, but thanks for joining me. Let me know how your first Digimon experience was as far as tournaments playing. Uh, do you find the community toxic? Because I know there's there's a lot of uh, toxic Pokemon people. But so far, Digimon, my experience is everyone's great. And um, to the people at the card shop, if you're watching this, thank you for showing me everything. I plan on going next week, grabbing that Mastamon deck from you, and attempting to destroy everyone there. And with that being said, I'll catch everyone next time.